Woohoo! Yay! Oh my gosh! Is it finally over? Why are you wearing that ridiculous hat? It's party time, man. You can't keep your hat on anyways. I know. My gosh, it's I got my goggles. This on. is it. Is we're it done. This last is the last podcast one. of the year. Woohoo! So we're going to uh, talk about uh, actually kind of a serious topic though. It's kind of kind of a downer. Nuclear chemistry. Oh. Uh, yeah, and all the energies and stuff like that. And like we're going to finish you know, what we start with. We finished the whole year with. How to build a bomb? Yeah, how to build a nuclear yeah, bomb. So it's sure. just really this really exciting topic. Yeah. <laughs> how to build a nuclear bomb. Now, don't any of you go out and build a nuclear bomb. If you go out and build a nuclear bomb, I'll get really mad at you. Okay? And Mr. Sam's, he'll come get you. Yeah. Uh, if he's still alive. <laughs> okay. So but today, we do need to talk about the science behind it. Yeah, the science behind it. Actually, we won't give you enough information to actually build a nuclear bomb. That's good. Yeah. Because in case this gets out on the internet, which it probably will. So <laughs> we'll talk. All right, let's do it. Okay, so today what we want to do is do nuclear reactions and so uh, balancing and the kinetics. So just real fast. Hey, uh, nuclear reactions, actually let's back up. Nuclear reactions are about what part of the atom we're going to study? The nucleus. And see, the nucleus can do various and sundry uh, different things. And what do you find in the nucleus, Mr. Sams? Protons and neutrons. So the protons and neutrons can like, uh, well... The thing that's interesting about the nucleus of the atom, you know, that's the center of the atom with its protons and its neutrons. Mm -hmm. It can undergo changes. Now, the reality is, is before today, the last podcast of the year, in this course, chemistry, we really have been really studying how electrons play mm -hmm. a role because that's what how makes chemical reactions take place. Yeah. But in a nuclear reaction, the nucleus will do something. It either split up or join, yep. basically, and that's the two options. Now, that leads us to kind of an interesting diagram. Um, this is the uh, nuclear stability diagram. Now, let's kind of talk about so, a couple of things here. This is Z. Now, what's Z stand for? Z is our number of protons. That's the protons. And N is the number of uh, neutrons. neutrons. And as it turns out, the higher, if you were to take a line, the early elements, so like hydrogen, yeah. hydrogen actually has one proton and zero neutrons. Mm -hmm. But if you take, say, helium, he's got two protons and two neutrons. So yeah. it's got a ratio of one to one. Yeah, those little elements like to be one to one. Nice and stable. But as you get higher and higher, so if we take, say, element 80 right here, the nucleus or the nuclei that are stable actually have more neutrons than they do protons. Right. And so they call, they call that there the zone... Zen? Zenon. Zone of stability. These are where you have stable nuclei. Now, um, and they're called, actually, a fancy word, they're called isotopes of yep. each other. We talked about isomers last time. Yeah. An isotope... Isopotes. Isotope. Man, I cannot spell today <laughs> for life like I ever could. Isotopes. What's an isotope? Uh, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Yeah, I think we'll talk about that. So, yep. I'd write it here. The same number of protons, but different number of of neutrons, that little, everybody know what that means? This is neutrons. number. Neutrons. N-E-U-T-R-O-N-S. N-E-U-R-T-O-N-S. <laughs> wow. I'm having, the last <laughs> podcast, I'm having difficulty. Um, you mentioned this is the fourth one we've made in a row. Yeah, we are, yeah, yeah, you notice our clothing, it's the same. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> in nuclear stability, there are actually several types of particles. And actually, if you're trying to understand this just for the AP test, you, this is it. This if all you, if you understand yeah. this, you're good. What's an alpha particle? Alpha particle is actually just like a helium nucleus. It has two protons and two neutrons. It actually has a plus two charge on it as well. Technically, it has a plus yeah. two charge, but nuclear people don't care about the charges. No, nope, because they, they don't, don't care, care about electrons. They don't care about electrons. Right. Technically, it has a plus two charge. So it's just two protons yep. and two neutrons yep. in the nucleus of... Yeah, now why'd you put that little four up there, Mr. Bergman? What is that? Oh, yeah, the four is the weight. This is the atomic uh, weight. Actually, a better weight thing would be the mass number. number. They're sort of the same. Actually, it's not really the same. No. It's the mass number. And then number two right here is the, number of protons. Atomic, the atomic number. number. Okay. So if we know the atomic number and we know the mass number, we can always find the neutrons by subtracting them. Yeah, four minus two, two. Yep. Okay. Now, a beta particle is actually an electron. It is. And it, it's we, a nuclear electron. This is the symbol for a beta particle, or sometimes we actually use the beta symbol, zero and negative one. Now, electrons have no weight nope. or no mass. They have a very they small do, but mass, but for this purposes, it's zero. And the charge is negative one of right. an electron. So that's how you write this. And mm -hmm. sometimes you put an E, sometimes you put a B. And a positron is actually a positively charged electron. electron. I'll bet you didn't know that it's they, ex 
Yeah, and so these actually exist as well. So it's again it has no weight, but it's charged as positive. It's a positively charged and electron. And the cool thing is, if a positron meets an electron, meets an electron, they annihilate each other. It's called nuclear annihilation. It's it very ceases cool. to become ceases to be matter. It turns into energy. It turns into energy. Lots of energy. Yeah. There's also gamma particles. Which That's similar. Really part. Why? It's yeah. Kind of a misnomer. Uh, uh, probably a gamma ray. Is usually ray. Called. And actually, it's just zero zero. It's just energy. Yep. Yeah. A neutron is has a weight of one and there's no charge, so it's just one zero with an n. That's yep. pretty easy. Hyd a, a proton is a one one p, or sometimes it's just a one one h. Because if you think about it for a moment, a hydrogen atom has one proton, no neutrons, no. And actually, technically, it's got a positive charge. Yeah. But we don't care about that. A proton is just that's that. So yeah. Yeah. It's one one. So you, it's important if you just memorize. This would be great stuff for um, like note cards at the end of the year. You just need to write down and memorize all these different particles. And once you know the particles, everything is hinky dory. Yep. All right. Now, when they decay, there's uh, different kinds of uh, radioactive uh, activity, and there's what we call radioactive decay. There's beta particle production, positron production, electron cap capture. Alpha particle production, gamma ray production, and spontaneous fission. All right, so we'll just do some examples. Okay, now what is beta particle production? Okay. Actually, let's actually take a reaction. Let's take the one they've got here. Yeah. Actinium 22789. I lost my pen. Actinium 227, what was that number? 89. 89. And it makes a beta particle. That's right. a zero, negative one. Put an E there. And the other thing that it makes, actually, we haven't really talked about this, but when you balance a nuclear reaction, yeah. you don't balance it in the way we've balanced other equations. You just make the numbers add up. So this is 227, and this needs to be over here. The chemical you're missing needs to have uh, 227, because 227 plus 0 is 227. Mm -hmm. And then 89, I need to have this side add up to 89. So yep. 89 plus what? Negative 1 plus what is 89? 90. It'd be 90. And then I look on my periodic table, and I find element number 90, and that 90 is, is uh, TH. TH. Now, it didn't change its weight, but it went up in its charge? How's it, what's up, or it's, uh, in its atomic number? Uh, yeah, the, the weird thing is we didn't really add any protons. What we did is we turned a neutron into a proton. Yeah, see, it turned into this plus zero. Negative right. one. So what yeah. happened is one of those neutrons kicked out an electron Split from up. itself yeah. and turned into a, pro a proton. So you probably didn't know this, but a, a neutron is actually made up of a proton and an electron. In fact, neutrons have a slightly higher mass than do a proton. It because be they the mass have an electron. It's not really like they have an electron in it. It's not like it's like no, a shell. It's not a sort of separate somehow. entity. It's but when it breaks apart, it breaks apart the neutron. Yeah. It breaks apart into a proton yep. and an electron. Now, the so, opposite can also happen. It's yes. called electron capture. Yes. So it can go both directions. Yeah. All right. Actually, let's learn how to balance those reactions. Right. We already talked about it. Tops so have to easy, add up. Guys. So easy. Bottoms have to it's add the up. Easiest thing you'll do all year. Six plus two is uh, eight. Eight. Uh, four plus so I think it'd be four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is three plus one is a uh, four, four. So two plus uh, two. two. Now, by the way, now we have to uh, get a periodic table. Yep. So it's four two. Let's look at a periodic table. Element number two on the periodic table would be uh, a helium, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So then you write helium. The end. That's it, done. Now this next one? Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't put the numbers. That's why. No. That's okay, though. Strontium 88. 38. So if I find strontium, strontium right here is right here, 38. So I have to put the other number here. Krypton is a noble six. gas. So that's 36. 36. And PD is what, Mr. Sands? PD, PD, 46. 46. So this is 46. So if we add 88 and 84, we get 172. 172. And so th this adds up to 172, but I've already got 116 yep. right here. So what's 56. the? 56. This will be 56. And this will be 38 and 36, 60, 74. Uh, 74. And then and minus 46, 46 28. 28. So now I'm going to look on my periodic table, find element number 28. And guess what the other chemical is? Nickel. nickel. It's the nickel, the nickel, nickel. Nickel noso. All right. Calcium is element 20. I happen to know that from my head. Mm -hmm. Californium, CM, is down here somewhere. 96. All right. Am I going too fast? Pause me, okay? And then SM. All right. I don't know what else. Samarium, I believe. I think you're right. I don't know where Samarium is. Oh, there. It's element 62. 
So the tops add up to 288, right? Yep. So 288 minus 147 141. is 141. And then uh, 116, did I do that right? Yep. Minus 62 uh, 54. is 54. So we go look on our periodic table, find element 54, xenon. and it's a xenon. See, you're just adding them up, guys. All right, now this one's a little tricky.